Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is 1932. This task force is heading home because New York had an encounter with a submarine. So it needs to go in for repair for uh, probably many, many months. 80% damage. And um, none of these escorts did anything to the submarine. Meanwhile, the French have arrived outside of Boston. So this task force might have uh, might get an encounter with these guys on the way home. This one is almost done and then we're gonna go and invade um, what is it, French Antilles. The invasion of Tonkin was successful. And uh, I don't know if we have the tonnage to invade anything else here. Maybe Cochin China? Probably not Anam. Perhaps Kongshou Wan? Anyway, these are very valuable um, provinces. Yeah. How's the research going? A oh yeah, right. I um, unprioritized that one because I'm getting it in one month anyway, and it's Mark Three 19-inch guns. I don't think I need to go that big, at least not yet. Maybe when I get into uh, super battleships. But let's go to March. Uh, yeah, no combat. We have a strike. A serious incident has occurred which involves Japan. One of their profound politicians was assassinated in cold blood. And their government accuses us that we are behind it. Why would we do something like that? 2.6 billion? I can't afford that. That's, uh... I've got 17.7 .7 billion in the bank, so... Or I can take a minus 30 hit in my relationship with Japan. I mean, they are asking for trouble. Oh, that led to war right away, okay. I wasn't sure what my relationship was with them, so... I guess it was enough that minus 30 led to a war. No, that's my port. Oh, and I already quit. Well, okay. Well, I sank the transports. I didn't do any port damage. That's good, because it's my port. So that's been fixed. That's pretty good. Pakistan allied with Britain. Arabia allied with Britain. Northeast Korea of Japan has been conquered by China. China is taking uh, Korea from Japan. Yeah, France was take, trying to take Angola, but then I went and sunk their uh, entire task force. That's uh, okay. Sorry about that, France. I did not get a combat with these uh, ships. 11 months repair for uh, New York. That puts me over my limit. But this one is going to be uh, finished in uh, in two months. This one too. I got a repeat about being repaired in Danzig, in Poland, of all places. Arkansas and Saratoga being repaired. I'm gonna put you on hold, my friend. Just for a couple of months. And 
then I need to rename some ships. So I will be right back with you. Okay, the ships have been renamed. I went on the Googles and I found some Polish names for the uh, for the cruisers. So uh, they're not going to be named something Polish. Well, they were named something Polish, but not literally something Polish. As happened with a previous ship that I forgot to rename before selling. Okay, let's uh, surround the Antilles. How much is this uh, worth? Not bad. Let's see. Research. Back to big guns. I did see... Well, it's been buried now by uh, not so interesting information. But I did see the French unlock the Mark IV 17-inch gun. I think it was. And the Brits got it too, so maybe they're focusing on big guns? I don't know. Let's go to April and see if we get some combat. Which we might, given that we're now at war with Japan. meet them here. What is the political uh, situation right now? War with Japan and France and almost Britain. But Britain is very close to being at war with France and also very close to being allied with Japan so who knows? who they're gonna end up being at war and allied with. China is very friendly though. Germany is kind of friendly. Italy is very very friendly. Uh, Russia is very friendly. Spain also very friendly. All in all I got more friends than enemies. Which, which is good I guess. Let's go to April and see what happens. Tensions. Britain and France. Spain demands money to be my ally. That's kind of rude. Britain and France. Okay, that makes Britain more friendly. Germany and Japan, that makes Germany more friendly. Now we got a strike. Like so. I'm not the one losing the most transports though, so that is good. 39% only? Okay. I thought... I'm not sure that was going to be enough. Let's send these out to kill this, uh, this task force here. Minus New York. Which needs to be repaired. How's my refits coming along? When will my Iowa's be ready for, uh, for action? One month. That's not too bad. North Carolina's are commissioning. It's going to take three months. And then they will probably also need a refit. That's a huge... Massive... Okay. The task forces are not that big. 
Uh, this is a light force. What kind of navy does Japan have? Seven battleships. Okay. Here we have a convoy. Seems I did not get a battle with that task force that I wanted to fight. We can at least um, try to kill these 12 transports. Lots of cruisers. Wichita, Worcester, Worcester, Wichita, Wichita, Wichita. So four Wichitas and two Worcesters. Versus a battleship, Kayo class. Six 14.3 inch guns. Um, not super slow. Aditi. Um, but yeah, the 12 transports. Now, is this my first convoy mission of the campaign? It almost feels like it. We got Ames and Spokane, Wichita, and a uh, Worcester. So you're gonna join up with the two in front of you. The battleship has been spotted already. And I can see the radar pings from the convoy. The battleship is on low fuel. Uh, 24 kilometer range on the main guns. That's not too terrible for an AI design. Like I'm pretty sure they could have fit another main gun turret somewhere. But it's not too bad. It doesn't look like an absolute um, donkey or something. Spotted that must be the DD. Uh, my cruisers do not have torpedoes. And uh, burning things down with high explosives, not as much of an option in um, naval arms race as it usually is in the game. hitting it. Aditi, that's low on fuel. Not that hard to kill. So that's the Didi gone. The battleship remains, and it will probably keep remaining. I'm not sure there's that much I can do about it. Unless maybe, uh, maybe there is. I do have six life cruisers, even with. A reduction to fire chance and other changes to make um, fire spamming less potent. That's it. Still six light cruisers. Advanced ones too. Taiho. Mm -hmm. 24 inch main belt. Yeah, you put all your weight into armor. Not so much the guns, which are only Mark II. I know they have more advanced guns, because I've seen them be unlocked. Yeah, 
Yeah, we might kill the crew. Five hundred million. So that's like four of my light cruisers in value. Yeah, I think we're gonna kill the crew. Might even burn it down. And then the transports are just uh, deserts. actually get some uh, there we go make it look a little bit more interesting like so Secondaries are murdering the transports already. That is nice. Yeah, I got plenty of 5 inch guns on these cruisers. There we go, extensive fire. That's a pretty clean victory. Right, yeah. Already my Worcester class proving themselves effective. Very nice. So, I now got two enemies. What will this battlecruiser group do? Hmm, maybe, uh... I don't know, maybe go here? Mozambique? There's a battlecruiser hiding there. Um, I do have fuel, that's nice. Can't believe that's only 39%. Yeah, that was one month left. Commissioning zero months now. Okay. I thought it was three. Oh well. Let's see. Where are these heading? There's one battle cruiser. China is doing things. There we go, one battleship and a heavy cruiser. <clears throat> How about I just um, invade this place? As I'm here already. 
maybe that will get their attention. Caroline Islands? Is that... Oh! That is multiple islands. Yeah, that's all three of these islands. Alright. Alright. We're gonna do that. It's not worth a whole lot, but it's worth some. Hope the uh, the invasion will pop up <laughs> next to the island I'm near. So yeah, let's go to next turn. Italy is admiring me and wants to be my ally. That is tempting, but. Yeah, that's too many responsibilities. Here we go. Large coastal raid. Facing another... It's the same cruisers as uh, last time. Another battleship, Kayo class. Three DDs and a torpedo boat, and only one transport. Enemy convoy of high importance. There's got to be something very important on that convoy, uh, that transport. All right, same as last time. I want two groups of three. Aims. I'll join these two. Now, let's first kill the Deities, then burn down the battleship, and uh, then the transport, if it doesn't just get sunk by something along the way. <laughs> it is right here. We just get the 17.3. Uh, get the transport out of the way. Have a single ship uh, targeted first. Sailing kind of close to the sun here. At Division 2. That's the transport. Gone. launch torpedoes against something. What kind of torpedoes do you have? Fast ones. Yeah, they got launched here. Just a battleship left. Torpedoes didn't hit. I was quick enough with my course adjustment.
If this had been vanilla, that battleship would have been burnt down a long time ago. So, in that aspect, I think naval arms race is a pretty big improvement. And like that. I wouldn't say it's a terrible battleship, but it could certainly have been better. If it didn't have uh, just six main guns and they had been uh, Mark III or better instead. We are winning! <clears throat> the Japan government desperately asks us to sign a peace treaty. We should have thought about that before uh, accusing me of murdering a politician. I don't know, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. There we go. Republic class battleship, 17.6 inch guns. Uh, a couple of Andrews and stuff. Got the New Mexico, New York still being in for a pair. As well as the Arkansas and Saratoga. It's a pretty even fight. They got one more light cruiser, but that's it. Now, my light cruisers are of the old Galveston class. Uh, my torpedo boats will be heading home. Uh, New Mexico. Turn down here. Just keep firing at long range, long ish range. Your cruising speed is seventeen point four knots. Cruisers, I just want you following the battle cruisers for now. Do you not have range, New Mexico? You do not have range because the enemy is running away. What? I thought this was a pretty even fight. There's no need for them to run away. And they cannot outrun my battlecruisers anyway. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't think their battleship can outrun my, uh, my battleship. Still in range, barely. Uh, New Mexico is going to turn around then, follow parallel course. Oh, that's one ship down for the count. Was a DD, not a light cruiser. I think once the New York is repaired, it's going to get a refit.
to at least get the uh, the Mark IV 14 inch guns. Which are pretty uh, nice improvements. Uh, New Mexico, are you out of range? You are. We're gonna have to speed up. Get a little bit closer. Uh, yeah, it is faster than my New Mexico, but it's one of those ships with kind of weird armor layout. It, it's got zero aft belt. One inch four and a half deck. Mark 117s. Yeah. Thought I was going to see a lot more um, aft belt penetrations, but apparently not. New Mexico is firing. She's found the range. kilometers now reduce speed but Bretagne is firing back at New Mexico okay Arkansas Colmar Saratoga Tempet uh, New Mexico is firing HE Should be capable of penetrating that ship. Uh, actually, not. It doesn't have the greatest penetration. It's got shellite as uh, shell charge. What did these end up with? Cube powder and shellite. So I think TNT2, which was my preferred um, shell charge before these uh, explosive changes, I think that got turned into uh, shellite, which is kind of weird because TNT2 was basically the safest shell charge you had before the changes, and now it's one of the most uh, volatile ones. are taking big hits. Let's bring my life cruisers in. Maybe, uh... Maybe get some torpedo strikes on that battleship. Unless the New Mexico just takes care of it. Let's try and gun down the uh, the DDs.
try using AP in New Mexico, see if we can get some of that sweet, sweet flooding uh, going on. Like that. Nine kilometers. Torpedoes are targeting the battleship now. But there is no need because it sank. one of those with the uh, the short torpedoes that's hitting the New Mexico what's the point of that now I just have to repair it That was it. So yeah, New Mexico got to shine a little bit. That's nice. Japan is losing lots of transports. France is losing. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're all losing transports. That's nice. Russia has captured Finland. I was trying to take Venezuela. Britain? They don't have any... Um, anything nearby. Fifty percent. Not really ideal. We can bring it up to... more than fifty percent? Adding some more uh, some more ships. Now, versus France, yeah, this is gonna take uh, take a few turns. That's nice. That's gonna keep the war going for a little while longer. We're winning quite big. Uh, 200,000 uh, victory points versus 800. Where do you think you're going? Let's try and intercept you. Or 
let's just uh, add some weight to this invasion. Because they're going to be sailing past here anyway. But that's it for for this episode. Mm, yes. Yes, it is. Hopefully we're going to get some more fights with the French next time. The, uh, the, the latest uh, version of the game has made... Um, it's made the game kind of skimpy on um, on actually giving me uh, battles. So I still think you should be allowed to actually force an engagement. That would add a lot to the game, at least to um, to the campaign. But I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye and take care.